It's here. It's here. All right, guys, I didn't get just one. I got two. I got the PCI 4.0 vertical mount for the O11 Dynamic Mini. I got two of these, one for my wife's build and one for the other one for the security build. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go ahead and grab my wife's computer and throw one of these on there and I'm going to show you how to get it done. And then we're going to try to put that, uh, that acrylic plate back, back on there like it always was before with the Wonder Woman. So... Let's go ahead and uh, set one of these aside and we'll open up one of these and we'll see what's in the box and we'll start taking uh, my wife's computer apart and throw it in there. All right, everybody, so now this is my wife's computer. So you noticed I've actually taken the uh, the graphics card out. It's the 1660 Super. It's the one that we debuted and I bought at Micro Center. I know it's kind of been overpriced or what have you, here nor there. I've taken Wonder Woman out. Uh, so the only thing I'm going to have a concern with is, you notice, you know, I, I put all these in here. I'm, I'm going to be concerned with the one that's over here. We'll take a gander at it when we get all this stuff pulled out. But uh, we're going to open up this box here real quick and see the components in there. And then uh, I think it's pretty much full straightforward. Uh, this does have the PCI E. 4.0 versus the 3.0. I uh, Amazon had these in stock, and the 4.0s were were $77, and the 3.0 was 55. And even though my wife's build is uh, Intel 9th gen and it don't support the 4.0, uh, I do plan on putting a 3060 in here, and it's only still going to be 3.0. But in the future. Uh, if I ever decide to go ahead and pull the Intel part out and put in AMD, uh, we're going to be good to go on, on the ribbon. That's what that 4.0 is, the 4.0 ribbon. So uh, that might be in the, in the future. So, you know, who knows? And we can take the rest of it and put it towards the uh, kids build just to upgrade their build or whatnot. So, but I did get the 4.0 for... The other one for the security one, that way if I ever upgrade that one as well, I've got the 4.0. Uh, I, I know it seems a little odd to spend $22 more, but it's it's what it was. So I'm not going to see no performance difference on it, but let's go ahead and take this back off of here. All right, as you can tell, uh, the plate comes off pretty good with the AI, sh AI sh <laughs> IO shield still intact. Wasn't that difficult. Uh, I'm going to put this in first and see, uh, see how it's going to go. And then we'll put the graphics card on and go from there. See how much room. So I'm going to have enough for this one slot here. Um, so you see this here, this little bar here that holds my acrylic on. I'm having a feeling that it might be in the way and actually the, the mount for the bottom. I might have to extend this one or extend them all actually longer. Let's take a look. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you've got these tabs right here, okay? There's there's four of them, one here, here, here. They're actually going to go inside of the, the case right there and snap in place. So I'm going to actually attempt to do this, mount this in, and then put the card in afterwards to see if that works. The biggest part of this tab here is going to be the hardest part because the I.O. shield to get in there. But it will go because we just had it once before. There it goes. Let 
Tighten these up. I'm just going to thumb tighten them. The first problem I ran into is you can tell I've, I'm trying to put the GPU in after I put the bracket in. Uh, I will tell you that's the way you have to do it. Uh, and my other videos on these GPU brackets, we've we put the graphics card on first and then put it in the case. But with this particular bracket, you have to do the the bracket first and then the, the card. But the problem I was having was the tabs on the card would not go into the slot. So, but that's because the bottom, the bottom slot was impeding the tabs from going in. Okay, everybody. So I've discovered that when it came in, this is actually too far that way, just by a little bit. So what I'm gonna have to do is unscrew these two and just try to slide it just a tad bit. It's gotta go that way, just a little bit. And right now it's all the way up against the edge here. So let's see, after I tighten this up, this is the stuff I'm running into, so I'm making this video so you guys run the same thing or know what to expect whenever you do get this. I'm going to have to take this out to do this. Yes, I am. So this would impede me from doing that, but now i got to figure out how to get that back into there. And it actually works. There it went, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. So now we're just gonna screw down the graphics card and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on all this. Oh! <sighs> what a nightmare. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, this mount is, lack of a better word, a pain in the arse, okay? So uh, am I telling you not to buy it? No, I'm just telling you that you're gonna have to be patient with it because it's not very friendly for the install. Uh, you didn't, it was a nightmare and I probably spent a good hour an hour and 20 minutes figuring out the best way to do this. So just keep in mind, uh, the video pretty much well highlights the how to do it versus what not to do, just so you guys can kind of help speed up your install versus the hour and 20 minutes I took. So you will have to mount this in the case before you put your card in. Just so you know, I've mentioned that before. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share this, share this, share this. Uh, I haven't seen too many videos on this particular mount for this case at all. I've searched YouTube and I haven't seen them. So I'm hoping that this one kind of goes a little bit farther than, than, uh, than the norm. We'll see, but uh, they're starting to come in stock now. Before they were out of stock and people were getting them and selling them for $150, $175. I've seen it and I'm like, I'm just going to wait. I saw, saw them on Amazon. I bought them as of today. I don't know if they're on there. So you'll have to look. Uh, when I get done with the video, I will put a link to Amazon below. But when I bought these, there was 12 left of the 3.0s and there was, I think, 14 left of the 4.0s. The so anyway, uh, I thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Be kind to each other and take care. Bye.